Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this will be a Scorpio Sun, uh, Moon and Rising, monthly tarot reading for a June 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away to the spread. Just a second. All right, so uh, the first card, which marks the topic of our month, that will be uh, the uh, the Emperor card, followed by the second one, which is the peripheral activities we can go for. These are things that we can either take a participation into or we may not. It depends on us uh, or on our personal preferences. The third card, it does represent uh, the challenges that we have to face throughout the month and that we need to overcome. That will be the, uh, the Hierophant. The fourth card for a Scorpio, that will be the positive aspect of the month. And uh, this is going to be the Moon card. And the last card here uh, is going to regard to the guidance the Tarot offers to us. And that will be the, um, the Ace of Cups. So once again, um, the Emperor card is the first one, followed by uh, the Three of Swords. Third card that we do have that is to be the Hierophant. Fourth one uh, is the Moon. And then the last one that will be the Ace of Cups. Oh my God. All right. So uh, we Scorpio are going to have a, a very strong month, a very powerful month for what I can say looking at these cards. Um, extremely productive for those who are uh, making their living with art, like musicians, for example, writers, uh, paint artists, and so on and so forth. It's just, it's extremely positive for that, uh, for that development, for such a career uh, development. Additionally to that, the month, it does look like that is going to confirm or put a confirmation into uh, our, how can I place it, mm, our insights that we are on the right track with whatever we are doing, either regarding career or either regarding the relation, either regarding our relationships as well. Uh, the first card here, which marks the topic of the month itself, uh, it is the um, the Emperor card. So throughout this month, uh, the situations are going to require from us to present ourselves very reliable and systematic as well. So everything, whatever we do, it needs to have consistency. And oh my God, how much I lack, lack consistency. It's, it's just mind blowing, all right? But nonetheless, it will, re it will regard to, um, or it will demand consistency from your behalf. That is because what you are going to do is going to be very, very important for you and for your structure and stability overall. Either if that is going to be career uh, endeavor or relationship thing, that depends on your personal situation. But as the emperor sits on the throne, throne uh, the throne itself does represents um, the great... Uh, responsibilities or kind of like the, 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 how can I place it, the heavy, 
yeah, they have a responsible attitude that you need to have toward those a, um, situations which are to face throughout the month. So, for example, if you start dating with someone, all right, you have to be consistent with it and you also need to be responsible about it either. If you start a new job, same thing is demanded from you. But that will come around with also a, a payback. What I mean is that through the structure and through the consistency that you are to create, that we are to create in our life, Scorpios, we are going to have much more time to take on for ourselves and we're going to make the day by day ups and downs much more bearable. So yay, it's kind of like um, I will have more time, for example, to play video games as I am catching up with, uh, you know, readings and uh as well making uh, consistently um, the videos that I have to make because I'm more like a um, last uh, last minute person, all right? But it does look like that I'm gonna change that for what it seems. So uh, yeah, and uh, additionally to that, uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, it, we are to face our uh, ups and downs on daily basis with much more ease and um, how can I place it? That will allow us to, like I said, uh, uh, win or rather create more free space around ourselves. The additional card here, that will be the Ace of Swords. The formation that we do have for ourselves, that will be an, an active uh, supporters. And the Ace of Swords points that we are not going to be afraid, you know, to do some, um, how can I place it? major steps toward our further development, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. It is because we are going to recognize what we lack, all right? What we lacked until this very moment, what was um, insufficient in our, uh, in our means and in our resources. And by defining that, uh, we are to take the appropriate measures in order to, um, in order to obtain it. For my, uh, for my case, it is the consistency, all right? It is uh, the, uh, the muse, should I say that way? Because, for example, it's very difficult for me to stand in front of camera or to start standing in front of camera. But once I, uh, once I overcome that state, you know, it's kind of like things just go by and it's no problem. So I have to work off that. But yeah, it seems that uh, for us, Scorpios, it's going to be a great deal of months because uh, we are to find out, you know, what really holds us down, what holds us back to finding uh, our next love, for example, to finding that good income that, you, that we need and uh, to, um, to basically feel ourselves uh, fulfilled and uh, productive. And for many of us, uh, a big portion of that is going to be, uh, is going to have something to do with our consistency. So uh, the next one, uh, that will be uh, the peripheral activities that we can go for. And with the Tree of Swords, there is only one way how we can interpret uh, this card here as such a follow-up. And it's about healing, guys. We have to, we can, you know, stop thinking about the pain that we are experiencing, either because, you know, we have been rejected recently in regards to relationship. We haven't taken that big project for ourselves in regards to career, whatever it is, you know, whatever you are feeling regretful about, you know, whatever you are um, uh, kind of like feeling despondent as well about, it has to be uh, worked over. That is the peripheral activity. And you are working it over not by trying to neglect it, you know, but uh, how can I place it? But suffering through it. So you can, uh, with this card, the the best thing that you can do is to forgive yourself first and foremost. And um, how can I display it? Once, uh, when you do have the Tree of Swords, everything goes through you allowing yourself to, to feel the pain and to heal from that pain itself. So uh, if you are being rejected recently, for example, you should not try to convince yourself that, for example, this person did not deserve you, all right? But, you know, experience the pain, the pain from that rejection. And, a, and with the Three of Swords, that pain is going to go away in a rather short fashion. What I mean, a couple of days, maybe a week as well. And after that, you are going to be completely, completely uh, healed. The accompanied card here, that is to be the lovers. And the formation that we do have, it is a active supporters, as a matter of fact. So we're talking about healing up a, a, broken, uh, a broken friendship or a broken relationship with these couple of cards. It does look like more as a, a broken friendship rather than relationship with, uh, as a peripheral thing, all right? 
uh, it could involve that you and that person. I cannot think of right now, but uh, as a such a person, but maybe, you know, it could be uh, it could be something that I already forgot about it. Maybe it's a person that I haven't catch up with. But the thing is that you and that person told to each other a rather very rude things. You you kind of like hurt hurt each other uh, with uh, with words, mental cruelty, and so on and so forth. And now throughout uh, this month, uh, you will have the chance, you know, to recuperate the uh, harmony into that uh, particular uh, relationship. More on the grand scheme of things with these couple of cards, <clears throat> uh, it seems that you can, um, how can I display it? You can find a resolution to certain setbacks that are regarding to a, a not very substantial endeavors in your life. Like, for example, you know, uh, you may find a, a better route to your work, let's say, or a better hours for you to go to the gym and these kind of better workouts and these kind of stuff, you know, things that you can live without as well. So, uh, but uh, uh, nonetheless, it's it's rather improvement into one's quality of, uh, of life. So going to the next card, which is uh, the challenges that we need to overcome, and that will be the Hierophant. So this is very tightly connected to the first couple of cards, which were uh, the Emperor and the Ace of Swords. So the, the Hierophant here points that what you are going to find out uh, as an uh, insufficient for you to uh, basically uh, become more productive in your life, it is a, a thing that you were neglecting until this very moment. So it's something that goes beyond your beliefs, all right? It's something that you, would, you wouldn't usually resort into. And that will be the challenge to fit this new belief uh, into your current system of beliefs as well all right so for example um if i have to give an example with myself i'm not very romantic person all right uh actually i'm pretty straightforward and probably that is one of the reasons why i don't have much luck with women but anyway so maybe i will find out that going um you know, outside of my way and trying to be a little bit more romantic is going to breed a great results. Just saying, all right? And that doesn't fall necessarily with my uh, beliefs. It doesn't fall with my system of beliefs as, uh, at all, you know, but should I want to be in a relationship? Maybe this is the thing that it is in insufficient into my arsenal of um, attracting a, a female, all right? And as much as it is difficult for me to be such a way, I will have to do it if I want to end up in a relationship. That is just an example with me by looking at, um, at these cards. But yeah, it is, you will uh, realize that you have to do or rather like attract someone or something, you know, that does not fall into your system of beliefs. But if you want to um, um, obtain bigger control upon your life, you will have to complete the challenge here and fit it somehow into your code of conduit. Uh, that could be that you don't kneel in front of anybody or like uh, you don't please anybody, but for you to take on this big project, well, you will have to push yourself a little bit and please in some way your, um, your supervisor or your boss and so on and so forth. Uh, for the for the great uh, for the sake of the greater good here, the accompanied card that is to be the page of uh, Pentacles, and uh, the formation it is a, a passive uh, supporter, so that additionally adds to the uh, to to the challenge itself, uh, pointing that uh, how can I display it that you are to take this um, going out of your way. A little bit more serious than it has to, all right, and uh, that could damage the uh, um, the amount of trust that people have in you, uh, in a sense of that it it will seem fake. This is what I am trying to say. So it's definitely a um, <clears throat> a mean of your behalf that you need to work over, uh, that you that you need to work out with. Uh, instead of, you know, just uh, playing fake or doing things that you don't, um, how can I place it? You don't do them sincerely at all. And uh, uh, with that being said, guys, you can, uh, how can I display it? You know, uh, you can approach your situations with these couple of cards a little bit more um, carefree than usual, you know, and uh, do not make them a serious as uh, you would usually uh, make them uh, at all, okay? It's just be open for any kind of uh, surprises when those, uh, when this either, for example, person comes around, new one, or a, um, 
uh, annual project. If I have to give example with myself as well, let's say that I meet a woman I'm interested in, uh, I'm not very good, I'm feeling very awkward by uh, being romantic, but you know, I could try to be romantic uh, in a form of jokes, you know, or, or, or of jests and, and these kind of stuff, which are gonna make me a little bit more comfortable by me doing them. It's just an example with myself. But uh, anyway, that leads us to the next card, which is the positivity out of the month. And we come to the real kicker here, that is the uh, moon card. So the moon card, it does point that throughout this month, we can extract a great deal of benefits if we combine our imagination with our knowledge and with our wisdom. And this is where the creative expression kicks in. So uh, you may come up with great idea about your book. You may come up with great idea about your sculpture, for example, or about your song. Or, or, or anything that comes from the bottom of your soul and from the bottom of your imagination. The moon card here points that whatever you are imagining, uh, that of course it's rational and it's, it's achievable, can be achieved throughout, uh, not throughout this month, but the foundation of this thing can be achieved throughout the month. Now the path is long and it is somewhat hidden in the midst of, of vagueness right now, but you are definitely on the right path, Scorpio, with this card coming on a positive aspect. You will know deep down within yourself that whatever you are doing throughout the months that follows your imagination, it is exactly what sets you on the right path, on the right track and on the right path in life. The accompanied card here, guys, that will be the uh, Six of Swords. The formation it is a, a passive, um, passive neutrals, and uh, as a passive neutral to the Moon card, the Six of Swords it is more like a, a secure player. What I mean is that um, it doesn't look like that you are gonna feel uh, so much pressure that you are taking unnecessary risks, all right? And uh, as well with the Six of Swords there, uh, it seems that many people will be on the same page with you in whatever endeavors you are in as well. And um, I, I cannot say exactly that you will have a support from others in regards to your imagination and your dreams and your creative expression that is, because it's gonna be difficult for the people to understand you really, but the very least, you know, they're not going to, um, criticize you in any way. And uh, these cards have another a very positive expression, extremely positive expression, pointing that there will be a certain threshold that you will have to traverse somewhere along the future, all right, as you are manifesting your dream and your goal. And uh, the good thing about these cards is that you get as much time as you need in order to prepare yourself to traverse the threshold as, as safe and sound as you can make it, all right? So do not rush anything that you will, uh, that you are manifesting uh, throughout the months, but rather, you know, take your time and think about, you know, what can exactly be uh, the uh, the setbacker there? What, what, what can bring the thing down and work it over? And the final card for you, Scorpio, that will be the uh, Ace, of, uh, Ace of Cups, which is the guidance for you guys. In Ace of Cups, it does point that you should look toward the future, in this case, toward the future, not in the past, which highly correlates with the peripheral activities, Tree of Swords. You know, as you may have that very, very efficient and productive month, that does not deprive you from uh, the uh, negative emotions you may have for, like I said, a rejection, for example, or denial, loss of a job previously, and so on and so forth. So instead of looking back in the past, you know, into a activities and things that you cannot simply uh, alter with, you, you can't influence anymore. They are there and they are going to stay there forever. But what you can do is actually alter your future. You can become better in your future. And the future itself should be the fulcrum that you are focusing in throughout this month of June 2019. Additionally to that, the Ace of Cups, it does point that somewhat there are going to be uh, en um, uh, enterprises uh, the, the month is going to be dappled with enterprises, excuse me, that are going to look a, a very exciting and emotionally fulfilling for you. And these enterprises additionally are going to help you, you know, overcome the poignant experience that you are carrying on in the month of June. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Ace of Wands. 
and uh, the formation it is a, a passive enemies that we do have so uh, with these couple of cards actually uh, the con the contradictory it's it's quite big I said that you're going to have a, a new enterprises which are to make you, you know, quite exciting, uh, quite, quite excited, excuse me, exhilarated and will help you to uh, overcome the pain from the past. But in the same time, as the Ace of Wands comes here, you should not rush those, um, those enterprises, you know, but take your time to experience the glee and the joy from them. Don't try to, um, uh, don't try to eat the dessert before the dinner. It is what I'm trying to say with the Ace of Wands, because the Ace of Wands could force you to have a hyperactivity, and tr throughout that hyperactivity, what can be very joyful experience is going to be transformed into a, a chaotic endeavor and a chore. All right, so just take your time. For example, if you are dating with someone, just enjoy the date, all right? Do not concern yourself with are you gonna date again, all right? Or what is their phone number? Or are they like you in these kind of stuff? Just enjoy the moment. It is what these uh, cards are saying. All right, so this was uh, your monthly tarot reading Scorpio for June 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.